everyone. Welcome back to Sense of South Jersey with me, Kellen, for another fragrance video. Today, I wanted to talk about aftershaves. So, you know, aftershaves are something that have always been a part of my life since I started shaving, which I did very young because I always had a thick beard. And then even in high school, um, you know, I was at a Catholic high school, so you had to shave. So for a lot of people, aftershaves are where their fragrance journey began, where they got an interest in, in applying something to their face or their body where it, it's going to have a, a nice scent to it. Um, and the ones I wanted to talk about today are going to be drugstore fragrances. So this is my top five drugstore fragrances. These are going to be the inexpensive ones, back to basics. I'm talking the ones from the very beginning. And if you're someone who's looking for a scent, but you don't want to wear a cologne or an eau de toilette, and you know, you're just starting out and you definitely don't want to spend a lot of money and you're looking for something, something fresh, something clean, and you do shave, then this might be the list for you. So before we jump into everything again, if you guys are new to the channel or you watch and you haven't subscribed yet, just go ahead and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. I'm really looking to get to 10,000. Uh, that's going to be the next milestone for this channel, especially if you like classic men's fragrance content. If you have an Instagram, check out the Sense of South Jersey Instagram page for news and updates on the channel. I post daily scent of the day and uh, once a week I'll do a shave of the week post as well too on the story. And then I also post photos of fragrances from my collection. Also, if you're tired of fragrance reviews and you want to watch little tidbit videos, small videos of something completely different. Go follow my TikTok. It's brand new. There's virtually no followers. It's called Sabro88 and it's all about champagne sabering and partying with me and my friends and the occasional clip from the movie Gladiator. So uh, anyway, let's not waste any more time. Let's take a look at these drugstore aftershaves. All right, so the first one, probably one of the most iconic aftershaves in, I don't know, at least history in my life that I've seen, one of the ones that I used very young. I remember going through at least one or two bottles in my lifetime when I was shaving and not really wearing anything after. It can be found in any drugstore, small or large, in the United States, and it is, of course, Old Spice. This is the classic. This isn't a vintage version. I know it initially was released under Shulton, um, but now it is Procter & Gamble. You can see what the box looks like. They do have a cologne, but we're going to keep this to strictly aftershaves. So, you know, again, this is really clean. It's, you know, got some spice, some cinnamon, some floral notes. Honestly, it reminds me of sunscreen and the beach. It, it, you can't go wrong. I think it's about $5.99. It comes in a plastic bottle now. I know it used to be glass. But if you're looking for something like that, something spicy, something clean, and something that, you know, again, if you like that sunscreen, sort of beachy smell, that's what Old Spice reminds me of. You can see there, it's always got the ship. Not sure if it was meant to, do the, to uh, you know, have that sort of uh, beach feel, but to me, that's what I get. And again, you can have it for virtually nothing and it's a splash bottle here you know it comes out just like that and you just apply it to your face and yeah it's exactly what it reminds me of guys sunscreen in the beach some spice and florals you can't go wrong with old spice if you're just starting out Okay, the second aftershave I want to speak about today, this one also can be found anywhere from your Walmarts, your CVS, your Walgreens, local drugstores, small, large change, doesn't matter. And it is Aqua Velva Musk. So this is the Musk flanker, if you will, from the original Aqua Velva Ice Blue. This one, I guess, came out, maybe, I'm not really sure when it came out, but I would imagine after the original one. So if you want to change up from the original one, which is kind of a powdery, you know, just sort of fresher scent, this is a little bit of floral musky, uh, but not super strong musk. It's not going to give you any animalic vibes, but it it is, it is a clean scent, and I think it's a little bit uh, more masculine and more uh, interesting to me than, say, the original Aqua Velva Ice Blue. You can have it for under $5. It comes unboxed. It's in a plastic thing like this. I've used it a few times, and it does act as cologne as well, too. You can see it says aftershave cologne there, too. So it's a body splash. You can put it on your face, your body after the shower. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's very cheap, and you can apply it liberally. I don't think it lasts that long, as most aftershaves tend to not last that long because they're for aftershave a shave but uh, this is one you can buy and use either or as an aftershave or cologne or both and you're not going to spend a lot and it'll give you a nice clean scent but it's not going to last too long or be overbearing Okay, the next aftershave I want to talk about, this is number three for this list. A little bit harder to get in the USA, but you can find it online, but it definitely fits that drugstore vibe and that look. It is Sear by Irish Moose or Irish Moss, however you want to say it here. Here's the box. You can take a look at that. I did do a full review on this fragrance for the aftershave and the EDT and the other body line products that I was able to acquire, but just look at the bottle here for the aftershave. Again, that plastic cap, it is a nice thick glass bottle, sticker on it, you know, you unscrews here and it's got that typical plastic stopper in there and god this stuff smells great think just fresh shave foam that barbershop barbersol shave foam infused with uh oak moss i mean you get it it's light clean 
uh, it, 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 but it's green too. It's got that green green to it that I really enjoy, and it is not that expensive. But I would imagine it might have been more readily available way back when, when it was released. Now in the United States, if you want this, you're going to have to go online. Pasteur's Pharmacy in New York. Again, that's a pharmacy. They do sell this, but that is a place that I had to purchase it from the website. Uh, I didn't just walk in there. And in my local pharmacies around here, which are mostly changed in South Jersey, you know, they're they're not getting it. They're not having Sierra by Irish Moose. So, but it is a green shave foam oak moss barbershop to the core. Amazing, refreshing, bracing type of aftershave. Definitely check this one out if you like green scents. All right, let's see what's up next. This is going to be the fourth installment in the drugstore aftershave list here, and it is British Sterling too. So this is a classic old school masculine um, aftershave and cologne. So you can see here, this is a vintage bottle. The new one is made by Dana and it's still fantastic. Don't worry about getting a vintage bottle. But when I did purchase this, this is just the one that came up. So I was lucky. You can see the detail on the sticker here. So it says essential oils imported from Great Britain, compounded in the United States. So this is made in the USA. It was made in Deerfield Beach, Florida. Uh, now it's just made by Dana Fragrances. So Dana makes a couple different ones like Cano. You know, uh, they're, they're very popular in the old school um, you know, scents from like the drugstore era, that type of vibe. But anyway, what this is, is, and this is my scent of the day here today too. I shave with it. Um, let's take this off here. I'll put some on my hand. I'm going to spend a little bit more time with this one since I'm actually wearing it at the moment. Splash that one on. And yeah, it's a it's an aromatic fougere to the core. It's um, spicy, mossy green with a little bit of nutmeg in there. The nutmeg, it definitely sticks out. Like I think that's what I noticed the most along with the oak moss. Um, but it has like kind of a light animalic scent to it. It's a pretty musky. It's very strong. And as even as an after aftershave, this is going to last longer than the average aftershave. Definitely longer than the other ones that I mentioned. Maybe Irish Moose will last uh, up, up to par with this one. But this one is definitely noticeable. And if you want to pair it with the cologne, they have that as well too. But if you just want the aftershave, you just want the lightest form of the fragrance on your skin, definitely just use the aftershave. You can get the vintage or the, um, the current. It really wouldn't make a difference. They're both inexpensive. But this definitely has a little bit of a muskier type of animalic vibe to it, along with those green notes that I really enjoy. All right, everyone. Finally, we have the last installment. Again, these are in no particular order. However, this one just might be, at least in the United States, in my opinion, um, up there in terms of most recognizable with Old Spice. But this one stands out. Again, unbox just the bottle. You're talking about Clubman by Pinaud. So this is just a staple in any drugstore. You buy it just like this. I think it's 5 to $7. You know, you can see they've even got written on the back so you can look right through. And then the juice actually, you know, uh, kind of makes the, the lettering look a little bit bigger. So, you know, what's it smell like? Pinaud Clubman, if you've been to a barbershop, you've had this splashed on the back of your neck. I don't care. Even if you didn't know it, it's, it's been done to you. It is very similar to the Fragrance Cano, again, by Dan. I had mentioned that just a moment ago. Every once in a while, I just open this up just to smell it. I don't use it that often, but I definitely wanted it. I've had this bottle for a while. It actually sits in the cabinet and I look at it, but I usually go with something different because I'm doing it for a review or I'm pairing it with a cologne. But this is something I should start using again. But what's it smell like? Um, Pinot Club Man smells very talcum powder, green notes, citrus, a little bit of spice. It's very masculine, very old school. Just give it a shot very clean. You can't go wrong with this. It doesn't smell dated to me. It just smells fresh, fresh out of the barber. You can't beat it if you just want to use an aftershave. Um, and again, if you're looking for an EDT to pair, you just go for Cano. But either way, this one is great for just the aftershave. It's, it's a classic. Like, just look at the bottle. Like, you got this gentleman here. Looks like the Dandy Era Clubman Aftershave Lotion. And, and Pinot has a lot of different aftershaves, but this is definitely the most famous and my favorite by far. And um, it, it's a strong scent. The lavender in there is very present. Um, it's just barbershop, drugstore, cheap, but to the core, a very masculine aftershave and a classic. You have to have it. Okay, so I cheated. I have to add one more. And this one is very recognizable. Again, no box, standalone bottle, 5 to $7.00 and it is Skin Bracer by Menon. This stuff is very strong aftershave. It'll leave you with a clean, masculine scent. So with this one, you're going to get mint. Mint is the prevalent note in this one to me, and I've even looked it up, did a little research, because I really had no idea. For the longest time, I didn't even bother looking at stuff like that with aftershaves and what's in it, because you know the, the fragrance was the next step. But again, if you're just wanting to use an aftershave, mint, Talcum powder, musk, and oak moss. That's what you get with this. It's like a bomb of all those together. 
very strong. There have been times when I've used this and then put a different fragrance on just because I, I just didn't have the aftershave to match and I just wanted to use this. And I mean, I waited a while before I applied that, uh, that eau de toilette or, or different cologne and I still smelled this. This stuff is strong. It's sort of a cousin to, to Irish Mousse, I think. It's, uh, this is a little bit more refined. This is a little bit more like, I sense like I would, if you're going to price range it, this is a slightly higher end where this one is obviously very cheap. Let's look at the bottle itself. I mean, like when you take this cap off, you have to twist it and then it's got this massive, you know, uh, dis dispenser here. Um, but, you know, skin bracer, it's always there no matter what. And, and it's by Menin. So I don't even know what other what other products Menin makes, but this one, um, this is the one that I'm aware it is made in the United States. But skin bracers are great, inexpensive option to get. Okay, let's do one more bonus edition. I just wanted to add this one as well too. This is Gillette Cool Wave. So this is the newest formulation of it. Again, don't bother going to track down a vintage unless you really want one. Um, but you know, Gillette Cool Wave, you can see it here. This is the bottle. So this one is definitely the sportiest of the bunch for sure. Um, think about Dracar Noir mixed with like a little bit of a cool water. It's kind of like an aquatic Dracar Noir, if that makes sense. It definitely, like I mentioned, the sportiest. If you want a, a kind of a fresher, this is like a gym, you know, you splash it on maybe after you're at, at a country club, if you shave at the gym or something like that. This one kind of goes in, in, in line with all of that as opposed to just kind of like a traditional aftershave. Yeah, Sporty Dracar Noir. That's the best way to describe uh, Gillette Cool Wave. And um, you can apply it. And I, it's a pretty strong scent from like the times that I've just splashed it on my hands and noticed it. You know, I haven't used it much, but this is a, the newest of all of these here. But Gillette Cool Wave, again, the best way I can describe it is a Sporty Dracar Noir. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for me today with my top five picks for drugstore basics starting out aftershaves that you can utilize along with my two bonus additions. Let me know in the comment section, what are your favorite aftershaves? What's the aftershave that you first used ever? And then did it, did it start your fragrance interest or did it take a little bit while, uh, take a little while for you to get into colognes after the fact? Do you still have one aftershave that you go to no matter what? Or do you pair them with the fragrances like I do? I always appreciate all of the interaction. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so. Check out the Instagram page. And then of course, Sabro88 on TikTok for all your saber needs. Again, it's non-fragrance related. If you don't want to check it out, I understand, but you should do it anyway. So uh, again, that's going to wrap it up for me, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate all of you hanging out with me today, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.